Now we're going to talk about how to form the embouchure to play the trombone and how to create our first buzz. Okay? Now, if you've seen our euphonium video, uh, it's very similar to forming the embouchure into buzzing on the trombone. So the embouchure that you're going to want to make is that you're going to want to have the corners of your lips pulled back just a little bit and you want the front of your mouth to form a little bit of a pucker. Um, think across a mix between a smile and a kiss. Okay. Now to buzz, you're going to bring your mouthpiece up to up to your mouth while forming that smile kiss combination. But you want to make sure that your mouthpiece is in the very center of your mouth. Okay. Um, a lot of common uh, errors occur because the mouthpiece is either too far to the right or too far to the left. So you just want to make sure that the mouthpiece is right dead center. Okay, so once we form our embouchure, we have our mouthpiece up to our mouth, we're going to take a deep breath, we're going to, uh, to take a deep breath out and try to buzz our lips and, and make the first sounds on our mouthpiece. Okay, so here we go, let's try just a simple buzz. Remember, uh, corners of, the, of your mouth back, front of your lips and a pucker, and then just a nice big breath. Here we go, one, two, ready, and go. Good, that's an excellent example of a buzz. Um, if at home you're struggling with that, I do recommend that you rewind the video, you play along with us, you practice your buzzes with us, okay? Um, make sure that you practice at your own pace, all right? Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to practice the difference between a high buzz and a low buzz. Um, that will help us get the different pitches and the different notes out when we play the full trombone. Okay? So here is our high buzz. One, two, ready and breathe. Rest, two, again and go. Rest, two, again and go. Good, good. So um, what you want to do on the high buzz is try to create as consistent sound as possible every time you buzz. Okay? As you heard, there might be some inconsistencies and that's completely okay. As a beginner, you can't always do things perfectly the first time through. So I do recommend just taking the time, doing it right, practicing maybe about five minutes each day. Just practice your buzzing. Okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to transition into a low buzz. Okay? Uh, what I want you to do is listen very carefully to the pitch that my assistant's going to play and how it differs from the first one that we just did. Okay, now here's our low buzz. One, two, ready, and go. Okay. Good, good. Let's do that one more time. One, two, ready, and breathe. Okay, so can you hear how the first one is way up here and the second one was kind of down here? Uh, that is what we're after. Okay, um, again, practice at your own pace. Make sure that you can do both the high buzz and the low buzz as consistent as the other one. Okay, what we're going to do now is an exercise called lip slurs, where we are switching between the high buzz and the low buzz. Okay. Uh, we're going to start with putting a small break or small measure of rest in between just so you can concentrate on thinking about how you need to adjust your embouchure. Okay? Remember your high buzz, you're thinking a nice firm embouchure, fast air. For a low buzz, we're thinking a more relaxed embouchure and slower air. Okay? We're going to start our high buzz. We're going to play that for four counts. We're going to rest, play our low buzz for four counts. Okay? One. Two, one, two, ready, and breathe. Two, three, and rest. Two, low buzz. And rest. Two, high buzz. Good. Rest. Two, low buzz. And excellent, excellent. So keep practicing that that exercise. Make sure that each. High buzz and low buzz speaks just as well as the other one does. Okay? Uh, now what we're going to do is the same exercise, but we're not going to have the break in between. We're just going to go high buzz, low buzz, high buzz, low buzz. And we're going to try to create that difference as instinctively as possible. Okay? Here we go. One, two, and two counts each. Go. Two. Okay, good. 
good, good. So as you can hear, um, the first couple times it was a little bit shaky, but as we progressed, we were able to execute those high buzz and low buzzes better and more consistent. And if that's the way that, that you start at home, that's completely, that's completely okay. As you can see that um, as we progressed, uh, our high buzz and our low buzz did get more consistent and it did get better as we went along. If that's the way that, it, that you need to practice at home, again, that is completely fine. Make sure you practice at your own pace and make sure that whatever you do, you're doing at the best of your ability.